New at 11, a local couple demands changes after their 17 year old was beaten during an off campus basketball game. The brutal attack was captured on video and has since gone viral. The teen's parents spoke with News Edge reporter Brian Hill tonight. Alyssa Brooke Cox tells me the attack happened inside this rec center here behind me in Sugar Hill. She says her son was left with a broken jaw, severe concussion and whiplash. Now, even though this did happen off school grounds, she wants school leaders to hold everyone involved accountable. It's taken a mental toll on him. Nick Cox spent his 17th birthday being fed liquids through a syringe by his mother. He has a broken jaw in three places. Um, it was a clean break on the right side and uh, two breaks on the left. His jaw actually twisted into his mouth. It was back in July when Alyssa Brooke Cox says the then 16 year old was severely injured during a violent attack at a local rec center. The Coxes showed us the video that was sent to them of the basketball court assault. Other students stood by laughing and recording on their cell phones. I can't even now understand it. I don't know where the disconnect is between seeing somebody get hurt and finding joy. While Nick has a long recovery ahead. When it first happened, he couldn't walk out of this living room to the kitchen by himself. He would get dizzy and nauseous. Um, so that's improved. According to the Coxes, the boys in this video are still going about their everyday activities. When he found out that the kids who did this to him were still able to go to school and play sports, and live life as normal. Um, that hit him pretty hard because his entire life has completely changed. The couple claims the other boys involved in this situation attend Buford High and Lanier High Schools in Gwinnett County. Remember, this attack happened off school grounds, but the couple wants them disciplined. I would sit with somebody, I would tell them the story, I would show them the video, and they would say, oh, that's terrible. We'll see what we can do and would do nothing. Now this family is fighting to get justice for their son and keep other families from the same heartbreak and burden. There's this need for accountability and the schools are failing. They've created this petition urging the Department of Education to create a code of conduct where students would also be punished for violations that happened off campus. Gwinnett County Police tell us they have arrested one of the boys involved but won't say what he's charged with. He's also being tried as a juvenile and you know, that's, it feels like a slap on the wrist. The couple's petition now has more than 17,000 signatures. We did reach out to both Gwinnett and Buford school districts who basically tell us they can't speak about disciplinary actions because of privacy laws. In Gwinnett County, Brian Hill, Fox 5 News.